Welcome back to another Plinko Board Budget Challenge. Today we are building our own dog houses. Whatever amount you get on the Plinko Board is the amount you have to build the best, most luxurious dog house you possibly can. Oh. Oh. 250. Just enough I need for my idea. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Oh! That's pretty low. 50 bucks! Old Yeller! Right, for the first time in a long time, mega big baller budget. 1000 Let's go! First stop, Hobby Lobby. First stop, Home Depot. Every time we come to Home Depot, I gotta get my monster to drink while I'm walking around the store. It gives me energy for shopping. Don't worry, I obviously pay for it at the end, but I need energy for while I'm looking around. Oh, God. Thousand bucks to build the best doghouse I can. I'm definitely getting some of this nice siding, stain it all perfect. Oh! Heart. So you guys may be able to guess what the theme of my doghouse is gonna be. With that being said, I'm building a basic big structure and I might use like a fence, dog fence type of structure, make it extremely dark. My show stopping moment comes alive when it's dark. Let's go get some paint. Man, this looks so nice. I just wish it was bigger because it's got to fit a whole big dog in there. With $50, I have two options. I could use the whole thing on materials. So what I think I'm going to do instead is try and make a pretty cheap shelter. The obvious material is cardboard. I still have enough money left over to like pimp it out, customize it. Should be good. <gasps> oh! When it comes to a dog house, dogs really don't need that much. They need comfort, food, water, and just a place to cover their heads in case of snow, rain, or anything like that. So I'm going a very unique route using this. Trust me, it'll work. Look what I found. The inside hacking system of the whole depot. Invalid scan. I just gonna mess up someone's whole inventory. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. The secret ends of the Home Depot. Every luxury dog house has to be able to set different temperatures. So if it's hot outside, you want to be able to cool down. If it's hot inside, outside, it, either way, whatever temperature it is, you can set it. Kevin will be very happy. Big change of plans, but still the same plan. But are you a different animal and the same beast? Now we're actually at Hobby Lobby. No way. It's literally dogs playing video games. Oh, but it's gonna mess up the aesthetic. Oh, but it's so funny. Or is dogs playing poker still funny? Not, mm. not quite as funny, but it's more sophisticated. But that one looks just like Kevin. I'll say this is a dog. With this item, there's no way that Kevin is gonna leave my doghouse <laughs> ever. What is that? <laughs> Just wait and see. Gotta go to Petco. That's so. where the pets go. There's so many things here that we definitely need. Plus, plus they have tons of uh, dog beds, which is exactly what I need for mine. Only spent like 10 bucks on all those boxes, so I got money to spend on e extra giddy-ups. You're kidding. They have doggios. Can we try them? We? Yeah, I wanna, t I wanna try them. Oh, Dog's gosh. favorite toy? Tennis balls, getting all of them. I'm not getting tennis balls because dogs love chasing balls and we need them to stay inside of our dog houses to win. So Justin might sabotage himself there. I gotta get the most expensive dog bed. I don't have much money left for dog beds, so that's not good. I hate your house. It's all comfy. It's 100 bucks. This is all I can afford, guys. Ooh, automatic pet feeder. The right amount of food. Every time. Back to the warehouse, we gotta start building. We're back from the store. It's time to begin building our dog houses. And once we're all done building, we're gonna have an expert judge come and test each dog house. My dog, Kevin. The one thing that's gonna make my dog house unique is it's gonna be elevated. And I also have this fake grass as well, the base. Oh, come on. Ooh. I have this cage set up as well, but it's not gonna look anything like this once I'm done building. Well, I guess I'm helping Justin build his dog house. I'll be fine. Ow! You ever seen an elevated dog house before? I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a dog house before. Just in general? <laughs> in real life. I've only ever had a small dog that lives inside the house. I don't oh. think I've ever seen a real life dog house. They don't have dogs in England. Oh, dear God, what is that thing? I've got a few of my boards cut. We're framing out some walls. I'm about to staple this all together with this nail gun. I hate Dude, triple fire. What the heck you oh. mega missed? You can't have it on burst mode. This isn't cold. Either. I know. Sorry. What is this? Not 
completely sure just yet. That's always the funnest design. I was gonna have all the boxes like closed up, but then I was like, I'm not, you're not gonna be able to even see inside. It's gonna be like all closed off and claustrophobic for Kevin. And so I'm kind of doing almost like a playpen style. There will be a covered section, so that if it does rain, he'll have nice shelter, but the most part he'll be able to get some fresh air, some breeze, and we'll be able to see what he's doing. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I think I've made $50 go pretty far, so I think you're gonna be surprised when we get to the end and Kevin chooses mine. Don't forget about my insane item that I have that will definitely keep Kevin in here. Dude, this is gonna be luxury. 250 bucks too? Since my doghouse is elevated, I have a, a walkway to get up. Dog walks up, penthouse. It's looking like the three little pigs scenario going on around here. <laughs> Isaac's is definitely getting huffed and puffed over. POV, you're getting dunked on by Isaac Quazzo from J Stu. What are you gonna do about that, huh? Four foot what are you nine. gonna do about that, huh? POV, you're getting screened by Isaac Quazzo and dunked on by Andrew Seitz. Stop! Oh! This is gonna be one of the greatest dog houses I think ever invented. We've never seen this style before. This looks very close to the one. Ah, uh, shut up! <laughs> I'm gonna be able to play with Kevin inside his own house as well. So if he ever wants to invite me over, we can both fit. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. I'm using tape because my walls are so styrofoamy. They don't weigh that much. I don't need to put anything else other than tape and it holds. I saw a comment on main channel video that says, Isaac always disappoints. Not anymore, guys. No more disappointments. I'm gonna make you proud with this here fort. Fort? Blast him in the comments, guys. Oh. Wait, I'm in the shot. <laughs> Blew the whole thing apart. Uh, all right, realistically, my dog house structure is complete. It's time to start loading in. all the little accessories that I got. I was able to find some cheap stuff. Like this bowl is only $3. Like pig's ears, dogs love these. And then this guy squeaks better than I've ever heard. Kevin's gonna crap his pants over that one. This is my kind of building. No hammers, no nails, just tape. Mine will definitely be the warmest because these are actually uh, basically insulation sheets. Water resistant, insect resistant, mold resistant, and moisture resistant. You have a 20 year warranty on your doghouse. The warranty is nuts. Chicken's flavored? It does taste like chicken. What? Drink. Yeah, why are you bullying me? I did nothing to you. I got the crappy budget. All I have is a pig's ear. You're just out here knocking my drinks flying. Wow, it's like the Wild West out here. What is this? It's a basketball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought for a second you were going to blast it straight into there. Don't look at it yet. Blur it out. Blur everything. <laughs> Editors know. Only blur Isaac's face when he says that. Because <laughs> I'm unwrapping my pig's ear. Dogs are crazy for loving these. Oh, there's like a vein. Oh. Not sure what I'm doing. That was the funniest <laughs> prank. That was definitely a Winston prank. Oh, come uh, on. I'm not Winston. How'd this blueberry get in here? <laughs> w in the chat. Isaac, funny prank. What does that say, Drew? Dog. Dog house. Doug. Dog house. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah! 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 Flash yeah! back to Goudaville. Gouda. Goudaville. Oh, that's, oh! that's why it smells so bad. Oh! Oh, no! I'm about done with the entirety of the house, aside from the interior decoration. Oh. It's time to get the inside looking spiffy, and we'll be good to go. I've been done uh, with mine completely finished for a couple hours now. Jo Andrew's still working hard on his. Justin's pretty much finished. Kevin's gonna have as much space in mine as he is on the $1,000 and $250 house. Can't say I have as much for him to do in here, but the things I do have are quality. He's got one wall up. This is like one of the accent walls. We should have enough planks to do another accent wall. Man, this thing's coming together nicely. I'm out of breath because it's just so good at building. My favorite part of Andrew's house is that it's a pretty sweet little fingerboarding surface. I'm gonna put my dog bowls in here and make this like a nice little like desk, doggy desk. Ah, it's almost there. Just a little more shaving. <laughs> I'm almost done with my dog house. Just putting the final touches on, which is some paint, some wood stain accents. The decorations are already installed. So once this dries, I'll be ready for the judge. Oh, this is gonna pop like a can of uh, those snacks. <laughs> Pringles. Me, Isaac, behind Andrew's head. Ah. Your voice is distorted and you are blurred out. Everyone has no idea who you are. That's ridiculous. Look at 
Oh, they can hear you. You just sound different. Uh, one more piece. I think that made the whole thing horrible. It looks like trash now. Wait, you put this one on backwards. The judge is on his way. Uh, so I got to get his plate all ready for him. Obviously, I got this pig ears and a little special treat. I also got this sweet paw plate I'm going to fill with water. And then I got a sweet selection of different meals. So he's going to have unlimited options in terms of what he wants to eat. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> oh, it sticks. Oh. Oh, come out, please. Oh, it's like that giant turd that just doesn't want to come out. Oh, oh goodness. Come out, please. Oh, here we go. Real chicken dinner. Yummy. Come out. Oh, oh that one came out nice. Oh, that one's gonna be the worst looking one. Oh, gosh. In my head, this one's gonna like look so nice presentation-wise. Delicious charcuterie. I'm gonna fill this up with water and then I'll be ready. We just dropped our brand new JSTU Adventure Club merch. We got five different items on the shop. It's our favorite drop yet, and we hope you guys love it. So get some jstushop.com. Pretty epic stuff. We are finally all done building our dog houses. It's time to give you guys tours, starting with Isaac. What was your budget and what's your name? My name is Isaac. I had $50 to build Heaven's Heaven. Come check it out. Starting right off the bat, I have a nice opening door that you can open. <laughs> So I wanted to be able to close and open mine. I think for $50, I created an extremely spacious dog shelter. Honestly, I think it's bigger than even the top baller budget. Right on the front porch, you got this absolutely delicious buffet of different meals. Got a pig ear. Kevin's gonna love crunching on that. Over here, I have probably one of the best squeaky toys I've ever found, like I showed you earlier. Wow, that was extra loud in here. Got these bones, got this really nice mat so he can like roll around. And, and guys, this is what I couldn't show you earlier. To keep Kevin in here as long as I can, I got him his very own girlfriend. This is Penelope. She is hopefully going to keep Kevin company while he's in here. He's not going to want to leave. He's going to think she's so beautiful and he's going to want to eat beef, chicken, turkey, and more beef with her. He's going to want to share his chew toys. He's going to want to snuggle up on the nice mat and he's not even going to want to go to the other the other kennels. So I think I might have this one in the box. Why does that look so disturbing? Well, can't say I would have done any better with 50 bucks, but hey, it is what it is. This one I'm pretty proud of. I wouldn't go that far. <gasps> we'll see what the judge thinks. All right, Justin, what's your name? How much do you got? And what did you do? My name's Justin. I had 250 bucks and this is the Dowg Glow House. Oof. My dog house is elevated. Wanted to be slightly innovative. Dogs like climbing things. So we got a, whoops, we have a nice little bridge that Kevin can walk up and is greeted with a bowl of squeaky dog balls. Which dog wouldn't just be drawn toward a bowl of balls? Another key feature I got was a unique water bowl. This is the uh, Whirlpool Water Bowl. Already just, I just want to play in this water bowl. Okay. <laughs> For my dog house tree, I got these maple smoked ham bones. There's four gigantic bones. Once Kevin does the tour, I'm gonna whip these out. I'd imagine he won't want to leave. I mean, look at this, he's already interested. All right, let's go inside. My doghouse is equipped with glow sticks to light the entire thing. Currently it's daytime, but once it's night, it'll just be a giant glow fest in here. And we got tons of backups just in case we run out of these 12 hour glow so sticks. We got an extremely comfortable mat here. We also have the grass turf. Dogs love grass, they love turf as well. So got some nice little decorations, dog stuff. Got another dog toy. Of course, got a golden calendar. Look at all the epic dog photos. Kevin and his friends are gonna love this. And obviously there's plenty of space in here. So if he wants to lay down, he can come right over here, but he can also walk, enjoy his snack right up here while being in the comfort of the covered dog house. I thought it was a cool addition to have the uh, fence here. Dogs are used to fences, so he'll feel right up. As we await the judge, leave him with a treat upon entry. And there we go, on to the big baller. Take it away, pal. I'd like to introduce you to Cabin O' Cabin. And we have the stained wood, stained deck exterior with the covered patio. This whole roof is slanted and it overlaps, overhangs on the edge. When it rains, all that just runs off. You're not getting wet inside. You want to see inside. No, not you, go. This is a true shame, indeed. There are many, many features inside this dog house. We have the water bowl, and then we have the snack dish. Try not to fill this up too much because Kevin doesn't know how to stop eating. We have a beautiful picture of a dog in a canoe, which could be Kevin if you want it to be. We have this lamp here to just kind of give it a vibe. His dog bed, ultra comfy. I think this is like almost $200. It is stocked filled 
with these chew toys that he loves. Lots of them have squeaks in them, ropes to tug and just Right here we have the Nest thermostat. And then on this side we have a beautiful mural of some dogs just chilling because that's what you do in the dog house. We have the automatic dog food dispenser. We have the nice decoration going around the top here. We have some lights underneath here is also illuminated to give it a nice vibe. One other great feature for Kevin in his doghouse is he has this clothing rack. Go boy, get, go, go, go boy. It's not your turn yet. Go, 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 go. We have his favorite team, the Broncos. We also have a nice jacket in case it's rainy outside. He can put that on. Now it's time for our judge Kevin to decide whose doghouse oh. is the best. He's going to be judging on how much he enjoys each doghouse, which is going to include how much time he spends in the doghouse, how much he enjoys the snacks and activities, if he lays down, how fast his tail is moving, all those things. He will tell us. Mm -hmm. I got uh, Penelope going, make a little barks. All right. Ready, buddy? Go on. Oh, I had a feeling you'd go straight for that. Oh my gosh, he's guzzling that. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Holy. Okay, Kevin, that's enough for you. What else you got in there, Kevin? Get the toy. Get the toy. Here you go, Kevin. Oh, you stink! Why are you so wet? Looks like the Penelope isn't really doing much. Penelope, oh, drinking water! Wow, he really loves that water. <laughs> oh, Kevin! Don't you like Penelope? Doesn't she look nice? Oh, you yeah, know. Kevin has zero riz with the ladies. Didn't seem like he liked that squeaky toy. He didn't even look at the pigs here. He just wanted to devour all that food. But Andrew gave me strict instructions not to let him. If you fill him up on the first house, he's not going to want to eat anywhere else. <laughs> Man, that, was a, that was a bigger flop than I thought. Trying to move on to the next dog house. Jeez. <laughs> That's water for you. Here, Kev. Look in there. Decide what to pick. Let the water go. Kevin. Kevin! This is a very expensive water bowl. Yeah. Kevin, look! Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Drink up, boy. Feels moving a lot more. Why did you leave me? Do you like the bone? Get the bone. Oh, bone! Oh. You want to get it? Go get it. Oh, his tail is going crazy. Tail is going nuts. Balls were a good call. Come in here, you angry beast. You like the boat? Oh, yeah, big fella. Oh, lay down! Literally, I didn't say lay down or anything. Oh. oh. Sit, boy. This is Sit. not looking good for me. Uh, yeah, he did not lay down in your house. Big so oof. Barely even stayed in my house. He just ate and left. <laughs> Both fit in here. It's great. But, Kev, I'm going to get out of here now. So you can stay in here as long as you want. Now, it's time for the final house to determine what Kevin likes the best. You did have improved tail speed and a lay down. So, I yeah. think between at least the two that we've seen so far, you guys You're are not out yet, though. He might absolutely hate Andrew's house. First, before you go in, do you want to Put on your Broncos jersey or your jacket. Oh, look at you, Kevin! All right, go on in. I right, found the snacks. Oh, how do you like it, bud? Ah! Did you see all your toys in your bed? No more snacks. <laughs> I know the snacks. I mean, it's one of our mottos, right? Must have snacks. <laughs> Don't bar oh. from my house, please. <laughs> go check out the dog bed. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Where are you going, bud? Kevin is very thirsty, boy. Look, I got you a rope! I got you a rope! You love ropes! Here. Oh! I gotta sit. Does that count? I didn't say sit. Oh my. Thanks for dripping it all over me. Here, look. You can lay down. Ow. Oh! <laughs> Kevin, did you know you can change the temperature in here with the thermostat? Really hard to tell who exactly won. Uh, we'll give Kevin one last chance. Kevin, go pick your favorite go. dog house. Go. go, go pick. What's your favorite dog house? Go, pick go in one. one. Go pick a house. Go in one. Go. Go. go! Oh. <laughs> Even Kevin's confused. Let us know in the comments who you think won, and we'll let you guys decide. Kevin's already taking big poop. 